Oh boy, this video is going to be crazy. <laughs> channel. Uh, if you've watched any of my clean with me or um, prep with me videos, you know I always start with a load of laundry and every time I walk in here you see videos like this. I've had enough. So today for some reason I had the motivation to organize this whole area, clean it up, get my life together. And uh, I know it's gonna take multiple days. You're gonna see multiple outfit changes, but I thought I'd bring you along in how I am going to organize this laundry room to make it a multi-purpose space. I'm gonna put my, my glasses on so I can see, even though the reflection on the ring light is just top notch. What I need to get done in this room, what needs to be in this space? Laundry stuff for sure, detergent, stain removers, color catchers, all things that go laundry. Um, I also need to be able to keep my cleaning supplies here. You know I keep a small uh, cleaning caddy in the kitchen for my daily cleaning, but this is where the backups will go. Any specialty cleaners, like my carpet cleaner, outdoor cleaner, that type of thing, all of that needs to go in here. Any extras that I have, my toilet wand refills, my magic sponge refills, um, extra trash bags, paper towels, toilet paper, tissue, I was gonna say tissue paper, but tissues <laughs> need to be live in here. Additionally, this is where all of our cat litter food and things are. So I'd like to have a little area of cat stuff. Yeah, anything that I need for them, like we use poop bags to scoop their litter, things like that. And lastly, I have a little area for some spare parts. So when an item comes and they have either an extra part or a spare part or something that has to be uh, exchanged every now and then. Um, for example, my robot vacuum came with these, what are these, like the refill of the automatic trash takeaway or the trash bags that the dirt gets suctioned into. So that's the kind of stuff that I need to keep in here. As far as space goes, what I have um, space-wise is these two shelves that you can see here. And then behind this door, I have uh, three cabinets that have shelves inside of them. So that's what I have to work with. This is where we're at. I'm feeling pretty good, feeling confident. Let's go. So as with most organization projects, I'm starting by pulling everything out off the shelves. My guest room is right next door, so I'm using that bed to lay everything out so I can clearly see what I have and what I need to get rid of. everything out of the garage that I think should go in here in the laundry room and everything out of the laundry room out of all the bins and everything so here's where we're at it's a freaking disaster but I've got all of the this is all cleaning stuff that's all cleaning stuff over here I've got our like paper goods paper towels toilet paper tissues over there I have the like spare parts that I was talking about before laundry stuff and then this pile of like miscellaneous stuff that I found in there that I don't really know where it goes. And Butler. I'm gonna sort through, see if there's anything that I can get rid of, like if there's any duplicates and or just things that I know I don't like to use. And um, as we're doing that, I'm gonna also categorize. So like with the cleaning stuff, I'll have it be, is it a multi-purpose cleaner? Is it a specialty cleaner? You know, what, what do we have going on? So um, I'm gonna try and do that simultaneously and kill two birds with one stone.
wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much for stopping by my channel, checking out this video. If this is the kind of stuff you like to see, hit that thumbs up button. I'd love to have you subscribe and join me back in future videos. I love all things organization, cleaning motivation, especially around this time of year, holiday things, activities. And of course, I do have a one-year-old son, so there's a lot of mom life sprinkled in between. If that's your jam, please click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss a future video. So I previously measured the cabinets that were behind the door and these bins fit in those cabinets. I can fit one, two, three, four of them. I bought an extra one just in case, maybe for the other side. Um, and I'm hoping to get most of the like cleaning stuff in there since most of it I keep in the kitchen anyway, under the sink, and this is all like backup stuff or specialty stuff, so I don't need to see it quite as often as I do like the other stuff that I have in the laundry room. So hopefully I'll be able to organize this in a way that makes sense, and um, yeah, we'll give it a go. And of course, Butler's here to join us as per usual. side it just has like paper towel over it and it's like got sticky I don't know I need to do like a oh this is gonna be a deeper clean than we thought it was yay are you guys excited we're along for the ride gotta go to the dollar store get some contact paper see what we can come up with in here all right here we are day two i wasn't able to find contact paper at the dollar store so i ordered some from target pickup so we'll be getting that uh maybe later today maybe tomorrow we'll see how um how lincoln does today but i want to try and get this side of it done as much as i can during lincoln's nap so let's go
This stuff is incredible when you want to clean your washing machine and you don't know how. I'll get these guys. I have two kinds of rags. I've got my like regular, these are mostly like old washcloths or towels, that kind of thing. And then my microfiber. So I'd like to have both of those available. My wands, my wand refills, Swiffer Duster and toilet wands. And I want to get a second one of these for my steam cleaning mop. Uh, my bases, I get to, I can take these off, wash them and then reuse them. I think I'm gonna move this top one down one so I can fit these baskets. I can put toilet paper, paper towels, and Kleenex, like one in each one, but they like just barely don't. Oh, you can't see, I'll do it over here. Look, they like just barely don't fit. <laughs> so I think I need to uh, move that down one and then I can put three up there with each, each item in it. I think that's the game plan. But before I do that, let's see how much how much toilet paper fits in each one. So that way I know what I'm getting myself into here. Or if it would just make more sense, might just make more sense to just do that. It may not look quite as good to so just have it just up. Yeah, it might not look as good, but it might be a better use of space. We're gonna try it that way for now, and then if I don't like it, we'll move it down. I feel like tissue boxes would be better in a ba basket like this, but it doesn't quite fit. Then like just loose up here, you know what I mean? But like the toilet paper is okay like that. The tissue boxes I think should be in one of these. So maybe I will just lower it no matter what. Yeah, I think we're gonna put tissue boxes in the basket and we'll see how that, how that goes. And I'll try and lower that. Uh, shelf. forget to take these off because then you'll see them from the bottom and it'll make it look a little cheaper even though these uh these bins were not expensive leaving price tags on of anything makes it look not quite as good so that's a little little tip from me to you so now that i know that that'll fit there i may go back to target and get a couple more of these bins so that way we can kind of like make it all look look the same and whatnot. So I think that's gonna be the plan. I'm gonna make a target list and see what else fits in some of these bins. I'm doing this a little backwards. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for how I'm kind of doing this, um, but for the way in the season that I am in, in life right now, it's very much like a trial and error thing. Normally I would recommend, you know, measuring out your shelves, measuring out all of the bins that you have looking at your inventory, deciding what uh, what you need in bins. I kind of did that. I just severely underestimated <laughs> what I wanted to be in bins. So I'm gonna get a few more and then we'll keep going from here. I just wanted to give you the update. I picked up one of two of my um, Target pickups. I am trying to get more of these baskets, which I have to go pick up today, but I was able to pick up um, some other things, which I'll show you right now. So here's what I got. I did get um, three more of these sort of square baskets. Um, they're gonna go up here. And then I got finally got the contact paper and um, I got a couple more of these smaller ones. So I moved my microfiber cloths into a smaller one since they fit. And then these are the cloths for uh, my steam mop. And then um, I've got big rags. And then this bin I'm gonna be using for our gym uh, towels. We have a little home gym in the garage. So this is sort of like on the way there. Okay, so I finally went and I picked up that second Target pickup, 
I've got four more of these big baskets here that are gonna go up on top and we'll hopefully be able to get that all finished up. Here's the final product. I am gonna go on my Cricut and make some labels here, but this is the final product. I've got my laundry in the front and the spare one in the back. This is enzyme detergent. It's really good for like smelly gym clothes or uh, foul body odors, <laughs> um, animal or human. So like to have this on hand. It's kind of expensive, but we only use it uh, if we need to. I got this little guy at Walmart inside is my color uh, grabber sheets. I don't use fabric softener. Um, I've heard it's not good for your clothes, so, uh, but I love this thing, so I put my, my sheets in there. And then behind that, I do have a, uh, a turntable here with my go-to stain remover. Um, these are used for uh, like fitted sheets. You can um, put them on the corners and it helps them not like bunch up my afresh which is how i clean my washing machine in a pinch and then this is my like sewing kit so buttons popping off or safety pins or measure or whatever um, i'm not a seamstress by any means but i can do a few little things and then i have my wands here a toilet and duster so that's nice and then my um steam mop pads microfiber cloths rags gym towels and then i did end up putting an extra one back there it's got some animal towels like uh, the towels we bring in the car with us if we have to take our dog or cat somewhere i'm um, just kind of like scruffy old stuff up on the top as you've seen i have all of my paper products toilet paper paper towels tissues i did actually leave this middle one here blank um or blank empty uh i know that the toilet paper or the toilet paper and the paper towels are we get costco packs and i know we were did not have a full pack there so um i left one empty because it will be filled i don't think i'm gonna label these up top um simply because just based on the amount of product that we have at any given time they might contain different uh different things so definitely want to label here in the front but probably won't label up here not sure yet verdict is still out down here you saw me hang a command hook and i have my like lingerie bags these come in super handy if you don't have some i like to use them not only for you know bras but also i put all my socks in there so you don't lose a dreaded sock anything like stuffed animals shoes things like that that you kind of want to be you know more kept together i have a variety of sizes and shapes highly recommend I also got this online, it's a magnetic, it just comes right off, but it's a, a lint bin. I kind of use it as like a general garbage in the laundry room, but it's great. Obviously my dryer's right there, I pull the lint, put it in there, and then I can take that and take it out to the trash. And then it came with, uh, I believe this is actually made, yeah, dryer sheets, like I mentioned. I don't really use dryer sheets, but I do use dryer balls, so I put all the 
balls in there and I can quickly and easily put it put it in my dryer. I do want to get something to hang here for like buttons and loose change. That's some, something that tends to come up um, from my washing machine, so I don't know. Okay, so behind the door, as you might have seen in other videos of mine, I have this hanging um, laundry bin. Oh, it comes right off, as you can see, and uh, it actually is, has a zipper on the bottom, which is nice. You can just unzip it, put it right in the wash. I have this one uh, here because behind me is actually the door to our garage. And sometimes we have like wet things from the car or we we also have our little home gym in the garage. So um, socks or like super sweaty t-shirts or um, the towels will go right in here and they don't even have to come inside. Um, I have one of these in my pantry as well, which you might've seen in other videos. Um, I use that for like kitchen dish towels and kids clothes we kind of tend to strip our kid before or after meals so um, having one is super handy and they're fantastic from Amazon Cali from but first coffee turned me on to these and they're amazing if you don't follow her you should she's got fantastic fantastic stuff in these cabinets I definitely am gonna be labeling these as you might have seen in here I've got my my multi-purpose cleaners, my specialty cleaners, Clorox wipes, and then I made this one like uh, animals, <laughs> whether it be the nature's miracle, if we have an animal spill or pest control. So we do get ants here. So I've got some ant spray and ant traps up in there as well. And then on this side, as you saw, I've got sponges, tools. This is like the drain snake and rub some extra rubber gloves, that type of thing. Magic erasers, which is overflowing. I buy the Costco pack, but in a couple of days or no, a couple of weeks, this will be back to regular. And then I also have my brushes. So I do have some old toothbrushes in there and then some just like general scrubbing brushes. And then up top here is my spare parts bin. As, as I mentioned before, I've got spare parts for like the vacuum and things like that. So I have that in there all labeled up. And like I said, I will be making labels for the front of these and these four that are in there. And then this is actually something that was, well, we put it up right when we moved in. I'm on here, you can see I've just got my broom. I've got my steam mop on here. Magically it fits. This is a Swiffer Duster wand and then an extra toilet wand as well. One thing I do want to add is on the back of this door, move my ring light here. It's very dark in this room, <laughs> but uh, on the back of this door, which is the door to the garage, I think I want to get one of those laundry things that like folds out and comes, you know, comes vertically or horizontally to the floor that you can like dry things on. I might give that a go, but for now, this is the laundry room. Shows up on my glasses. <laughs>